Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I was fixing to change over my purse and I thought, why don't I do a purse changeover video? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. So y'all know that I had got this beautiful Hammett um, Large Daniel. And since then I had a couple of bags come in. Um, one was the coach that I showed y'all, which I totally forgot because it was outlet and it took a long time to ship. And to be honest, I was so focused on this that I didn't even think about it. But, oh gosh, this leather is so soft, y'all. I cannot tell you enough how much I love this purse. But then I got a wonderful um, couple of uh, gift cards from one of my bosses at work. And um, I haven't even used the other two. Oh my goodness, I'll probably use it for something completely different. But, um, so for Sundance, and um, I love that company. Uh, I had been looking for a handbag that would really go with the boots that I have. And I do have a fry purse that I think would go with the new boots. But um, I had already looked at this bag a number of times. And it's a French, I think I've already showed it to y'all. It's um, just a U-shape. It's tooled leather, really pretty tooling on it. And it's a suede tooling instead of a smooth one. And uh, this didn't come. This is, y'all seen this before. This is just a Swarovski crystal bag tag I put on here because it's just to make this Western uh, purse look glammy for an evening that I was looking both, I thought. But I don't really want it on here anymore. I want more of a rustic look with this bag when I do wear it. Who knows? Who knows what I'll add? But anyway, um, and I love that it has a short handle and it's got this long one. And I love the fringe. I remember when I was in school, there was a little boy that sat behind me and I had just gotten my new purse that had fringe on it. And he threw up at lunch all over my back and my new purse. And I never got over it because it's my favorite purse. And I just loved the fringe. It was darker. It wasn't tooled. And I was younger. But it was still, gosh, this leather smells so good. But I want to wear my hammock. And um, that was just a bunch of stories you probably didn't even, like really need or want to hear, right? But anyway... Um, so I'm going to switch things over. Well, when in here, in Hammett, for the structure, I'm using my, um, my clover sack. But in here, um, it was a little tight, so I should have used a smaller one, and I, I was kind of in a hurry. And so I thought, well, you know, instead, I'm just going to use the pouches from here. And that's one of the reasons I still pouch even inside of the clover sack with all its little departments. And I also left in here this wallet. And the reason is... This is the Hammett wallet that I purchased really in advance. And look, my little Chick-fil-A. Before y'all ask me, no, I can't get you one of these because this is only given to employees when they're hired. Um, but it's the little Chick-fil-A, um, what am I trying to say? Mask. And then I had in here some hand, hand sanitizer spray and rubber gloves. I always keep rubber gloves in case I don't want to touch like a punch or someone else's touch. I'm more concerned... I'm not a big believer in masks, y'all know that, except for, um, as far as that they work, as far as N95s, they work. But that only works to block it coming to you. To be considerate of others, you're supposed to have something that is not vented. Um, a KN95 is a good one that's um, probably the best one, and then to double mask, really you'd need a triple and quadruple mask to really block with good filters in them, um, the teensy weensy size molecules that are transparent. Uh, transferring this virus so that's why but I always wear one just because it's courteous it's kind it's what people you know people are trying to be conscientious about other people and so that's why I do it I, I don't want to be ugly and not wear a mask plus you know some people say it's better than nothing I'm not sure that it is but still um you know maybe it'll catch some of your spit or whatever I don't know but really it's even smaller than that so it just goes on through but anyway and my bestie gave me this Louis Vuitton one, which I love. And it fits really well. That's the other thing is how well it fits around you. This one fits really well. So I keep those two masks. But everything else in here, as y'all can see, is in pouches. So I'm just going to switch it over from the pouches to here. Now, one thing that I can't switch over, and I did decide because my boss gave me this. Um, well, I think this was for Christmas. But it's got this same cowhide, only it's got kind of glammy. It's the rose gold spotting. And then it's also got a Louis Vuitton uh, patch on it, which I thought was really cool. But I am going to switch this wallet over to this one. And I will go to the trouble to do that because 
I love this leather on this and I love that this just goes. It's the cowhide thing and it just, it goes. So that I will switch the wallets out. But um, I have this little pouch, which is kind of a catch-all. It has my business card for my channel um, and have Hope Ministries and all of that. And then it has a Chick-fil-A business card. And then I have my old business card for this channel. Gosh, look, that's the one that has a little logo on it. <laughs> and what did I give those out to? In the beginning, I actually used them. But anyway, and then in here, I have all kinds of little just incidental. So I've got a little tiny um, measuring tape. I've got whiteout. I've got my electronics for my phone, you know, just a, um, a um, plug. And then the, the cord is wrapped on this really cool thing I got from Levenger. You can put that on your keychain, but um, it just, it's a way to wrap it that it doesn't get tangled up. It's got a um, Neutrogena Individual um, makeup wipe in case I need that during the day. And then it's also got my firearms card, which needs to be renewed just, you know, for the right to carry a concealed weapon. Um, it's got a hemorrhoidal wipe. And I'm not sure why I've got that. I don't know if I just had a little problem at one time, but it's always good just to have a cleansing wipe. In here in case you go to a bathroom and they don't have toilet paper and um, just you know sometimes it's just good to clean but this is also medicated so I'm not sure why that one's in there but I'd also just in case someone needs one I don't know but um, a lot of what I carry is in case somebody else needs it but anyway um, my um, glasses wipes um, and then also these little little thing of earring backs just in case somebody's like about to lose earring and they don't use backs you should always use a back y'all um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then I decided to start putting my makeup in a pouch so it was easier to transfer. But when I truly need my makeup out quickly, like I will need my, um, lipstick to be standing up like that. So I put that and my pins together now, um, in one side. And then, but I have found it's kind of cool to keep all the rest of this just in a pouch so that if I ever do want to switch over to the pouch system from a clever sec, I can just switch the pouch. So that's on the other end that I put this down in there like this so y'all can see like that. Okay, and then y'all know that I always keep my hairspray and my face spray with me. This is the Chanel face spray and um, my hairspray that I keep together. And then I always keep my little Medi pouch, and this just has medications, band-aids, um, analgesic wipes, um, uh, um, a breathing, you know, breather, a um, little pack of Tums, you know, all those kind of little things. I always keep this, uh, this little Louis Vuitton pochette. Um, always keep that handy. So there's that one. That one fits in there fine. And then I always keep um, two things just in case I get hungry and I've skipped a meal, which I often do. I've gotten to where I keep a little Snickers because that's just a little treat that I do like. And then I also keep gum. And I also keep um, Kleenex because my nose just inevitably runs. Um, and then I'll keep that over here. And then, oh, that should be a mole. That's just a little... Goodness gracious. Oh, it's the UPS man. Sorry, it's probably going to be very noisy here for a minute. Then my little brush that has a mirror that folds out. And then I also keep on there. Oh, um, she's being feisty. Oh, you know they park right in front and these lights are on so you can see out through the window. So I wonder if they're like, what's she doing in there? And so they stay a little longer. Maybe they're kind of like, hmm. Or it's probably easier to get to my front door for just walk across my lawn, which I don't like. But anyway, so that goes in there. Um, and then... I keep my pins now in a um, vertical baggie, and that reason is um, just because... Do I have two soft rows? Is that soft rows? That's your are. I'll keep that one here. Um, in case it ever leaked in these nice purses, it would be in a baggie, and it would be just a better chance, you know, of it not, like, totally tearing up my stuff, but, um, you know, ruining it. And then I have some papers here. Oh, my mom's honey and spice banana muffins um, recipe that came, I think, from the side of a Brand Flanks cereal box because that's what they highlight to use. And that just touches me, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to make that. I'm going to set that over there. I'm going to make that. And then these are just um, important papers. Yeah. So we'll do that. There we 
go. And then I think that's it. So the only other thing that I keep down in pockets is my phone, if it doesn't have an outside pocket, which this one does not, or my um, car keys, because I don't want them to get lost. But this one does have an outside pocket. So I put it down in there, and I'm done. I put it down in there, and then I put my phone down in there on top of it, because it goes all the way down. And so I'm ready. I'm ready to switch and go. Just like that. I love it. I love that you can still keep your organizer. And then also, if I switch from this to something that I don't use pouches as much, I'll just take the, and it's a large enough purse, I'll just take, and I believe this is the medium size um, clover sack, and transfer it to another bag, because most of my bags are medium size. This one's medium to small, is why I think it did not fit very well in this one. So that's it. Made my switch, except for my little wallet, which I'll do real quickly. Um, which actually, I'm not sure how close I am on the time. How close am I on the time, y'all? And do y'all even care? One minute. Can I switch it over in one minute is a good question. So in the back is where I keep my credit card, which again, I do keep that um, just so that it's easy to get to. I keep that right in the top. And I always put, there's a magnet. That's the only thing I don't like about this. It's a magnetic closure because it's a real thin one. The magnet's right there by the cards, which could inactivate the magnetic strip. So what I do is put it magnetic side strip down so it's not close to that. I'm not sure that it would, but who wants to take the chance? Okay. And then I've got some money and some extra cards. So here's the other thing. Do I really need to be carrying these cards? And the answer is no. Except for my driver's license, my insurance card, I do carry my... Um, car insurance card and my dad's bank cards and that's really all